Hi everybody, this is my example of my sound pattern. Now it is pretty basic, so I'm expecting you to do a much, much more complicated one. You can put two, three, four sounds in it, it's up to you. And I'd love people to use their imagination and find different ways to make sounds. I know with Mrs. Koskolos last term, people made some musical instruments, so perhaps you or ways people found ways to make um, sounds so perhaps you can use that again today so what you need to do is start off with a short sound pattern or sound bite this is mine and that's it that's my sound bite pretty basic I know and the whistling uh, isn't all that great I'm not gonna win any musical awards for my efforts so you can do a much better one but that's the type of thing I want you to do. And then I'm going to turn the camera around in a minute. Then I want you to represent that sound pattern using Lego blocks, drawings, whatever you can think of. So you can pause this video now and go off and work out what your sound bite is going to be. Then when you're ready, come back and I'll show you. Okay, so you're back. I hope you have worked out an awesome sound pattern and taught it to somebody in your house because that is what the instructions asking you to do on your lesson slide. Once you've done that, then I want you to think about what you can use to make a key for your sound pattern. I used a long piece of yellow Lego to represent my double clap and a small white piece of Lego to represent my whistle. This is my key. I could have written word key on here to remind myself. Then I've placed these exact pieces into my sound pattern. And here is my sound pattern represented with the Lego. I've got double clap whistle, double clap whistle, double clap whistle, double clap. So that's what I want you to do. You can use your imagination for what you might like to use to represent your sounds. You might draw these using different shapes, triangles, squares, stars, and so on. Or you might be able to go outside and find sticks and stones and leaves that represent different parts of your sound pattern. Use your imagination. Don't just copy mine. That's the easy way out. We want a challenge and we want to be able to use our good thinking skills about how we can represent this sound pattern. I can't wait to see what you come up with. 